So in this video we are going to see about the steam formation or the boiling of water. We are going to see how does bubble form when we heat or when the water reaches boiling temperature. How does the bubble form or what is the principle being involved in the formation of bubble which is called as nucleate boiling or nucleation. First let us understand the principle of nucleation and then we will apply that principle and see how exactly water behaves during boiling process. So with this in mind we will understand the concept of nucleation boiling of water and how does the bubble form and then finally you can correlate what's happening in a container or a small vessel with what's exactly happening inside a boiler and how does a steam form there. Let's start with the nucleation process. How does a bubble form when we heat water? So here is the heating surface or let's say a container which contains water. I have indicated water as blue color which is all over the picture and any uh, bowl or container or any uh, vessel when we look through a microscope it definitely has surface imperfections or cracks or uh, boundary layers between the solid molecule particles. So these imperfections I indicated as a crack or something like this in a V shape and uh, definitely before you pour water into it, it entraps air or gas with it and you pour water above it. So this gas or air is always available trapped in this crack or imperfections. So now when I start to heat this gas inside it expands and as it expands its size increase and it protrudes out of the crack and here you can see there is the formation of micro layer of water which means from the main body of water which is outside this vapor bubble a small portion of water or a film of water is entrapped between the heating or heated surface or a container or a vessel and the bubble. So this microfilm of water gets heated up and then it form it becomes vapor it forms and it becomes vapor and then it gets inside this bubble. So as it gets inside this bubble the size of the bubble increases more as this micro layer of water has been evaporated and becomes vapor inside the bubble there is some dry spot which doesn't have any water over here in this place and this place. This is called as a dry spot which doesn't have any water which means the bubble is about to depart or there is no more water to evaporate thus the bubble will keep on expanding in its size and as it gets heated up due to the temperature increase its density becomes so light that it tries to move up, escape from the water and thus it moves up, the bubble departs. And again between the cracks there is some gas or air trapped again and this cycle continues from here to here. So this cycle repeats again. So this is called as nucleate boiling. With this in mind we will now see how actually water starts to boil and becomes bubble and thus forms steam inside a boiler. So here is a container with some water in it and I am started to heat it now and as you see the bottom most portion of the container gets heated up and thus the water takes up the heat or cools the container and as the water gets heated up the it forms a layer, a thermal layer, the hot water 
comes up and the cold goes down. Thus, the natural circulation is being maintained. And now as the water is getting heated up, we can see some bubble formation at certain areas, not on all areas. And these areas are the imperfections or cracks, which are called as nucleation sites. And you can see a current over here rotating, which means there is a natural circulation. And as the water gets heated up more and more from the nucleation sites, the bubble rises up due to the principle which we saw earlier, or this is called as simply nucleate boiling. And since the water is getting more hotter and hotter, it boils up or more steam or more vapor bubbles escape from the bottom and raise up to the surface and then collapses releasing, a st releasing the steam and if you cover it with the lid the steam accumulates and then gets pressurized thus there is an increase in pressure as we witness in a boiler so this is the principle of heating and steam formation which we can correlate what is exactly happening inside the boiler there is a slight increase in the water level due to the swelling effect and when I keep a hand above it there is wet steam being produced